Welcome to Cooking with the Cook Sisters, brought to you by the United States Botanic Garden. We're very pleased to be with you regularly to offer online cooking demonstration and home garden tips. Hi, I'm Danielle Cook. Legumes, or dried beans, are a staple of every household and easy to incorporate into a daily diet. Today, I'm working with chickpeas that I've cooked from dried in my pressure cooker. I'm ready to turn them into a great side dish, popping with warming spices. And then the other cook sister, Adrienne, will talk to us about the mechanics of growing your own legumes. So let's get cooking. Last winter, we talked about the different methods of cooking dried beans. You can use canned beans However, with dried, the cost is lower, the flavor and the nutrition is higher. There are different methods of cooking the dried beans, but whatever method you choose, you want to reserve some of the cooking liquid. For today's recipe, we'll begin by mashing one cup of the beans. Use a potato masher to turn the beans into a paste. And then add an additional five cups of chickpeas. Mix the mashed peas in well. Our spices include garam masala, which is a blend of ground spices originating from South Asia. Turmeric, which is a potent anti-inflammatory and an antioxidant. And a touch of cayenne pepper. Mix in your spices well. And then add in some scallions. Chickpeas are high in protein, minerals, and fiber, and they make a great substitution for meat. Next, heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a saute pan. Add about half the mixture and cook until fragrant. Stir the mixture occasionally and cook until the scallions are soft. The moisture will evaporate and the flavor will intensify. Chickpeas and garbanzo beans are exactly the same. Chickpea comes from the Latin word referring to the plant family of legumes. Garbanzo, on the other hand, is Spanish in origin and was first used in the 1700s. Once the mixture is cooked and a little bit stuck to the bottom of the pan, transfer it to a bowl. Repeat those steps with the remaining oil and chickpea mixture. To finish off the dish, add the reserved chickpea cooking liquid, the lemon juice, lemon zest, a sprinkling of some good sea salt, and the remaining green onions or scallions. This is an excellent side dish to grilled or roasted chicken, lamb, or seafood. I like to add a final little drizzle of olive oil as well. And now, let's go see about growing your own legumes. Hi, I'm Adrian. welcome to my garden. We're gonna talk about beans again today, one of my favorite subjects. But this time we're going to not talk about the beans themselves, but the beautiful protein-laden seed on the inside. Cannellini, black beans, that type of thing. How to grow them. Let's get going. All beans look pretty similar as they grow, and shell beans are no exception. When young, they're almost indistinguishable from regular beans but they're not bred to be eaten like green beans. Their flavor is all inside the pods. Shell beans take a lot longer to mature than regular beans. They're harvested typically in September. Some varieties grow tall, like Jack and the Beanstalk. When harvested, pods are very large and very bumpy. This is what it looks like, only it'll be dry. That's what you want to do is wait till this is all dry. But inside are your beautiful protein rich beans. Look how lovely those are. 
And that's how you grow them. That's what you're trying to achieve. That's what you're trying to grow. Well, I hope this little snapshot into the world of shell beans inspires you to grow your own fresh, dry beans next year. That's it from Adrian's Garden today. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week.